Our angel guidance today is for the week of the 15th to the 21st of January 2018. So keep watching because the angels have beautiful messages coming up for us. So, my name is Maria and in our video today we're receiving guidance from the angels for the week of the 15th to the 21st of January 2018. And for this week we'll be using the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtual. So if you're interested in improving your health, growing your spirituality, don't forget to go to the subscribe button below so you will get notifications whenever I post a new healing, a new meditation or a new angel guidance here in the channel. And also, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or a personal healing with me, you can always go to my website. And if you would like to support my work, support my videos here, you can always go also on my Patreon page. I will leave the link for both in the description below. Okay, so let's begin with our guidance for the week of the 15th of January. I have the cards here and I invite you to close your eyes and just take a deep breath in. Just connect with me, connect with the cards, connect with the angels. I already got the card for Monday and Monday and Tuesday and now we go for Wednesday and Thursday. Asking always the angels to give us the right message, to give us the right guidance that we need to hear right now. It's already here for Wednesday and Thursday. And now for the weekend, Friday, we came out two cards, three. Awesome, okay, let's see. So for Monday and Tuesday, we got the Harmony card. The Harmony card is talking about the importance of starting your week in harmony with everything in balance. So remember, have a balance of your work, okay? Work a lot as you need to work, but also give yourself time. Have a balance in resting, have a balance in having a proper sleep so you can have control of your life. You can move on with your week feeling recharged. So yes, work as much as you need, but also remember to take some time for yourself especially in the beginning of the week where everything starts all over again it's very important to be focused on yourself as well to bring balance to your life also they are telling me now that it's also important to remember to have balance on your diet also beginning of the week bring this energy of eating healthier of having proper proper meals having a proper time to eat eat a little bit slower enjoy yourself enjoy your time while you're eating and remember to always opt for the healthier options if you can opt why not eating something a little bit healthier so remember this as well and now they're telling me also this card is also speaking about harmony between time with yourself and time with your family so remember yes again yes you can work a lot but spend some time with your loved ones spend a little bit of more time with the people that you truly care for so remember it's so important to have balance and harmony in our lives spiritual also spiritual balance connect with god connect with the angels and also remember to have your connection with mother earth your connection with this physical plane so everything in your life requires harmony requires balance and remember that it's very important to focus on this in the beginning of this week so have a proper balance don't have anything in excess in your life bring harmony to your life take action start doing this now don't leave doing your balance don't leave having balance in your life for next week 
Start it now, start it this week. Have more time for yourself. Start the gym that you want to start. Start your yoga class that you want to start. Start your singing classes, your art classes. But do things that are going to uplift your energy, that are going to uplift your spirit. So again, you can have our harmony. You can have a proper balance and everything can flow properly. You can have a proper balance again. So things can start flowing to your life easier and better. And you feel healthier. You feel more energized. You feel good with yourself because you're giving attention also to your own well-being. Now, let's see for Wednesday and Thursday. They gave us the New Beginnings card. It's a very sweet message coming from them to tell you that this week there's lots of new things happening. Remember that I've been talking a lot about new beginnings coming from January on, from the new year on. So this is a good card, a positive card emphasizing to you that yes, new beginnings are coming, new changes are coming to your life, new doors are going to start opening, new people are going to start coming to you. So remember to trust the angels, to believe that it's possible, because the more you trust, the more you are in this energy of waiting and expecting for new beginnings, expecting for positive things to come, the more this will be attracted to you, the more you will manifest this even quicker. So remember to trust, remember to believe that it's possible because this card is telling you this week there are new things coming to your life, very positive things that you've been waiting for. Things are gonna start now to manifest. There are many things coming your way. There are many things expecting to happen in your life throughout the year. And just now they're gonna start to manifest very slowly you will start noticing that things are shifting in your life the energy is shifting things are new things are coming new doors are opening you're having so many more opportunities right now so remember in the middle of the week they're telling you something new is coming to you something amazing that is going to shift your path that is going to show you the right way this is very positive and very good for your path, for the, the route you're taking throughout the year. Okay, my dear. And for the weekend, they gave us three cards. So I'm guessing it's one for each day. So first is romance. The other one is intention. And the last one is divine guidance. So with these three cards, they are telling you that all this love that you've been asking for, even if it's in, even if you're already in a relationship but you've been asking for more love for more um compassionate for more passion in your relationship or if you're asking for someone new to come if you're asking for a true love the angels are saying that if you want more romance if you want romantic relationships to come to you remember to have the intention Remember to ask the angels that you want this. Ask them exactly how you want this to happen, exactly how you want this to manifest. So if you have, or like I said, if you have already a relationship, ask the angels exactly how you want this romance, this love, this passion to be manifested. How do you want this to happen to you? What kind of words you want to listen for from your partner? What kind of actions you want from your partner? And imagine this is already happening to you and trust again, trust that they will help you, but you need to have the intention just by saying like, okay, I want to have someone, I want things to change but you don't have an intention. So remember to bring this intention, to pray, to ask them that you want this for your life, that you want to reach this goal, that this is something you want to manifest. And this is very related actually to the new beginnings that they were talking about. Because remember they said, things are going to start shifting, things are going to start changing, new things are coming up. So this is related to this romantic relationship they are talking about now. So remember, the more intention you have, the more you ask for it with more details as possible, the more they can bring exactly what you want. And again, this is also uh, valuable for the ones that, that are looking for someone new, that are asking for new and, and uh, 
respectful relationships. So remember to have an intention. Ask the angels, how do you want this person to look like? How do you want this person uh, to have what kind of um, lifestyle, what kind of uh, personality and stuff like this. So be more specific, have the intention and ask the angels to bring them so they can act on you, they can act upon bringing this person to you. But if you don't ask, they can, act, they can never help you. So remember to always have the intention, to always ask them for what you truly want because this is the third card, the divine guidance. So remember, they will guide you towards the right person. They will guide you towards the right way of dealing with your relationship. So listen to the guidance. If you feel like going somewhere different, go to this place because the person you're looking for might be there. So if they tell you to take a different uh, way, a different route of going to your work, do it because maybe you will stop by some place and you will meet the person you're looking for. So remember this guidance. If they tell you to, for example, if you already have a relationship, they tell you to go out and prepare something nice to your partner, prepare a nice dinner, bring something different to your relationship. Feel the guidance, do what they are asking you to do because they are communicating with you. They will bring you the guidance towards this person, towards these changes that you truly want. So remember to listen. They are insisting and insisting always about the need for you to listen, the need for you to take action on the guidance that they are giving you. Again, don't leave it for next week to take action. Start now taking action. Start now manifesting the things you want, communicating with the angels, asking them what you want so they can act on your life. They can help you as you truly want. Because again, if you don't ask, they can never interfere on your free will. So they're just by your side waiting for you to communicate with them so they can come and they can bring you all the blessings that you truly need. Okay, my dear. So this was our angel guidance for this week, for the week of the 15th to the 21st of January 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it made sense to you. Okay, beautiful soul. So this was our angel guidance for this week and I truly hope that it resonates within your heart. Thank you so much for staying here with me. Thank you for being here with me. And I will see you very soon again. Have a wonderful week and Namaste.